12 gauge double barrel exposed hammer shotguns. And they've always been something I like to pick up now and then. I've collected an awful lot of them and this is just three, including the newest addition to the collection. Along with one of the oldest. Right here, this is an American gun company, right here in New York. 12 gauge double barrel hammer gun. And you can see the stock has the usual wrist cracks and tape, epoxy, all kinds of repairs done to it. You can see like right here it's been filled in to tighten up the action and shimmed a little bit where it wore out there. It's been around. I've had this shotgun for almost 30 years. Fluid steel barrels and I have used it. This shotgun has been behind the door for a very long time. Well, it's been retired for some time now, but it's been in service many years. Made around this one, probably around 1897, 98. It's got flat mainsprings. This one right here, I just picked up a few days ago. It's also American Gun Company, New York. The H&D Folsom Gun Company made these under that name, American Gun Company. This is a coil spring model. That means this is at least uh, 1900, 1905, somewhere in there. Fluid steel barrels. That means it's not Damascus. It was made for smokeless ammunition. And it's tight. Locks up tight. No wiggle. There was a crack in the stock, but I fixed that. A little glue and some clamps. It has shorter barrels. These barrels are about 22 inches. Well, the old one was about uh, 24. 425 somewhere around in there. I did I should get a tape measure and measure them, but I didn't bother. Nice handy one. This is the new shotgun that I will now be keeping behind the door along with various other things. Needs a butt plate. I got a little chip out of it. But other than that, and some missing finish, it's in remarkably tight condition for one of these. These were working guns. You went to the hardware store, you bought one of these, and you used it. You hunted with it. You shot your daughter's boyfriend with it. All them fun things you did with shotguns a hundred years ago. And you can see American Gun Company's right there. Oh, look at that, how nice and tight that is. And fluid steel barrels. Or cast steel, as it's sometimes called. That's modern steel. It's not, not Damascus twist. I do not shoot Damascus twist barrels. If I want to kill myself, pills are much, much easier. Okay, and the last one here is another one from the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. This is Belgian. It is a 10 gauge. Very nice, tight action on this one. Locks up nice. This is still a usable weapon. Somebody thoughtfully removed all of the blued finish from it before I got it. But that does not affect how well it works. I mean, there's not a huge amount of collector following on these. You can see there, those are 12 gauge chamber inserts, because 10 gauge ammo is a little pricey and I just don't feel like loading my own. Black powder shells is what I would use in this anyway, so I use 12 gauge. And it is a very heavy gun. Ugh. And look how nice. I don't know why, what kind of, I guess they used walnut on these, but Every time I pick up one of these Belgian doubles from this era, it's always got a nice stock. I have a 12 gauge like this, same company that made it. I'm not sure which Belgian company did. Well, this one says U.S. Arms Company. That's just the manufacturer's stamped name on there to sell them under. They never have cracks. American ones always do. The European ones never do, at least not the ones I find. The Belgian ones like this, anyway. And over here we got some paper shot shells. These are from the 50s and 60s. And they're still still good. They still work. I buy these at flea markets all the time. A couple of dollars for a whole big jumbled miscellaneous box full. I got some number nine there and there's some number four. And I got a whole bunch of buckshot in the other room. These are high brass, but they got low brass too. See the, uh, the crimp on there for the paper shells. These are collectible. I don't actually shoot them, although I could. But they're antiques now, just like the shotguns that uh, they were used in. American Gun Company, Coil Mainspring. 
This was a gun broker find. Sometime, actually, I have three more of the, this particular model. So it was my first double, so every time I see one, I tend to buy them. But uh, Another coil mainspring one like this I recently got. Another flat mainspring one like this one. I have a 20-gauge version of this, American Gun Company double. And I believe there is another oddball 12-gauge that's mostly for parts because it's in pretty bad shape. But there you go. 12-gauge hammer guns.